2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 is one of the most quoted verses in Christian circles, especially in times of national crisis or personal repentance. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. While often cited as a rallying cry for revival, this verse is deeply rooted in the context of God's covenant with Israel and his promises of restoration. By exploring its background, its call to action, and its implications for believers, we gain a deeper understanding of how this passage remains relevant in our spiritual journeys. The Context of 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 To fully appreciate this verse, it is essential to understand its historical and scriptural context. The verse is part of a larger narrative that recounts the dedication of Solomon's temple in Jerusalem. Solomon, the son of David, had completed the construction of the temple, a monumental task that symbolized God's dwelling place among his people. After Solomon offered a prayer of dedication, fire came down from heaven to consume the offerings, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. God then appeared to Solomon at night and spoke the words recorded in 2 Chronicles 7 verses 12 to 22. In this passage, God reaffirmed his covenant with Israel, promising blessings if they remained faithful but warning of severe consequences if they turned away. Verse 14 is God's response to the possibility of future disobedience. It is both a promise of mercy and a call to repentance, emphasizing the conditions under which God's favor can be restored to a wayward nation. A Call to Humility and Prayer the first part of 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 emphasizes the importance of humility in prayer as the foundation of a restored relationship with God. Humility, in this context, is the acknowledgement of one's dependence on God and a recognition of the need for His guidance and mercy. In a culture that often values self-reliance and pride, the call to humble oneself is a countercultural act of submission to divine authority. Prayer is the means by which believers communicate with God, expressing their needs, desires, and repentance. In this verse, prayer is not just about asking for favors, it is about seeking God's face, a metaphor for seeking His presence and favor. This implies a deep, personal relationship with God, where prayer is a dialogue rather than a monologue. Seeking God's face and turning from wicked ways. Seeking God's face involves a deliberate effort to know and understand His will. It goes beyond mere religious observance and requires a sincere desire to align one's life with God's purposes. This seeking is active, involving both the heart and mind. It is an invitation to draw closer to God, to experience His presence, and to be transformed by it. However, seeking God's face is coupled with a requirement to turn from wicked ways. Repentance is not merely feeling sorry for one's sins, it involves a decisive change of direction, a turning away from sinful behaviors and attitudes. This turning is a vital component of genuine repentance, demonstrating a commitment to forsake sin and pursue righteousness. In the context of 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, repentance is the key to unlocking God's forgiveness and healing. The Promise of Divine Response God's promise to hear from heaven indicates that he is attentive to the prayers of his people. This assurance is significant as it reminds us that God is not distant or indifferent but is actively listening to those who seek him with sincerity. The promise to forgive their sin highlights God's readiness to extend mercy and erase the guilt of those who repent. Forgiveness, in this sense, is not just the removal of punishment but the restoration of a right relationship with God. The final part of the verse, and will heal their land, has often been interpreted as a promise of physical healing, particularly in the context of a nation experiencing drought, pestilence, or other forms of divine judgment. However, it also carries a broader meaning of spiritual renewal and restoration. 
When a community or nation turns back to God, he promises to bring about healing, not just in the physical sense, but in the moral and spiritual fabric of the society. Applying 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 Although this verse was initially addressed to the people of Israel, its principles are timeless and applicable to believers. In a world that is often marked by moral decline and spiritual apathy, this verse serves as a powerful reminder of the importance of humility, prayer, and repentance. It calls on Christians to examine their own lives, to turn away from sin, and to seek a deeper relationship with God. In the contemporary context, this verse can be applied both personally and corporately. On a personal level, it challenges individuals to humble themselves, to pray earnestly, and to seek God's face with sincerity. On a corporate level, it calls on churches and communities to come together in prayer and repentance, seeking God's forgiveness and guidance for their collective sins. 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14 is a verse that resonates with believers across generations, offering hope and a pathway to restoration. It underscores the importance of humility, prayer, and repentance as the keys to experiencing God's mercy and healing. The world is often broken and in need of divine intervention. This verse invites us to turn back to God, trusting in His promise to hear, forgive, and heal. As we embrace this message, we are reminded that no matter how far we may have strayed, God is always ready to welcome us back and restore what has been lost. Amen.